we will learn about threaded binary tree basically a threaded binary tree as the name itself says it is a type of binary tree where the empty left and right chained pointers in a binary tree are replaced with the threads that link nodes directly to their in order predecessor or successor thereby providing a way to traverse the tree without using recursion or a stack so what does it mean here basically is if any node is not having a left child left thread will be existing if it is not having a right child right thread can exist so when we are having a left thread it is pointing towards in order predecessor if you are having a right child it will be pointing towards in order successor so what is the use of these threaded binary trees is nothing but it will be helpful in traversing the tree structure with to write a function without using the recursion or without using a stack actually basically there are two types of threaded binary trees that is single threaded binary tree and double threaded binary tree so in the case of single threaded binary tree what will happen the right threads only will be existing if there is no left child also it doesn't matter there will be no left thread only if right child doesn't exist right thread exists that is only thread which is pointing to the successor only exists it will not worry about the predecessor in the case of double threaded binary tree as in the case of definition we have learned both left thread and right thread will be existing so if there is no left child left thread exists if there is no right child right thread exists so here the predecessor threads are useful for reverse in order traversal and post order traversal if you see here single threaded binary tree will be helpful in the case of in order traversal okay now let us see the example of single threaded binary tree this is an example shown to you so we are having 25 18 10 21 34 29 40 so now if you see like the in order traversal of this particular tree how it will happen we have to go to the leftmost node that is 10 we will start so after 10 we are having 18 in the in order traversal then 21 then 25 then 29 34 40 so if you go for a in order traversal in the binary search tree the sequence you will get in the ascending order actually so here so if you can observe here the successor of 10 is 18 in the in order traversal so that is 18 will come after 10 then after 21 we are going to have 25 in the in order traversal then after 29 we are going to have 34 in the in order traversal because after 18 we are going to have 21 and the pointer is there that is the right child pointer is there so we need not give any thread here similarly for uh, after 25 we are having 34 as a successor in the in order traversal similarly the after 34 we are having 40 so for these particular nodes we need not have any right thread so for the nodes which is not having right child for those nodes only we will be having right thread actually okay this is single threaded binary tree so let us see the insertion operation into single threaded binary tree so first case we are going to insert as a left child so this is the tree structure what is given to you and now we want to insert eight so first we will insert the node as we do in the binary search tree okay so then after inserting the binary value into the binary search tree then what we will do here is thread will be inserted so what we'll do first eight will be compared with 25 so because it is less than we'll come towards left it will be compared with 18 because it is less than 18 will come towards left of 18 and 8 and 10 will be compared now because it is less than 10 we'll insert eight as a left child of 10 actually like this now we know that eight is a leaf node here there is no left child no right child 
and we don't worry a left child at all now because it is not having a right child so what is the successor of 8 here in the in order traversal of this tree after 8 we'll get 10 in the in order traversal of this tree structure so we'll give thread to that particular node that is right thread of 8 will be connected to 10 this is how you can insert the value into the single threaded binary tree next let us try to insert value 23 So now what will happen? Twenty three will be compared with twenty five because it is less than twenty five. We'll go to left of eighteen, and twenty three will be compared with eighteen because twenty three is greater than eighteen. We will uh, go to right of eighteen, and then twenty one we are having here. So twenty one will be compared with twenty three, and because twenty three is greater than twenty one, and you are having right thread. because there is no right tail here so what we will do now 23 will be inserted as right tail here so first we will insert a right as a right node then because uh, thread is already existing so what do we do this right thread of 21 we will make as right thread of 23 like this and then we will remove this thread uh, which is right to 21 and Make twenty three as right child of twenty one actually like this. We'll remove and give a link like this. This is how we can insert a node as a right child. Let us see about the deletion actually in the case of single uh, threaded binary tree. So this is the given structure. Now what will happen? Left of twenty five will go, and because nineteen is greater than eighteen, will come towards right. 21 we are having and so left of uh, 21 we will see that is 19 we are having here so what will happen here 19 is existing so we have to delete this 19 because in order to delete uh, the particular value it should exist in the tree so first we will come to that location for that we are supposed to uh, traverse so we are when we once we reach to that particular node then we can delete actually according to the procedure if we are not able to uh, identify that particular node in the tree structure then delete operation cannot be carried out and we can say that uh, requested node doesn't exist in the tree so now 19 is identified so what do we do now 19 i have to delete so just simply delete because it is a leaf node we need not do anything just delete 19 so that is link between 19 and 21 and the right thread which is pointing to 21 that also will be deleted so you can observe here there will be no other changes just 19 node will be deleted and the link between 19 and 21 and the right thread of 19 is deleted like this okay deletion in single threaded binary tree leaf node right that is right leaf node we are going to delete delete 23 this is the given tree structure for you now 23 is right child of 21 and it is leaf node now if we, i want to delete this 23 so what should i do here we can uh, delete this link between 21 and 23 not an issue i'll delete this link also that is 23 to 25 right thread also can be deleted in that case what will happen 21 right child will be null that is it is we are not having any right child or right thread so what do we have to do in that case first we have to give this right thread of 23 as right thread of 21 and then you can delete the link between 21 and 23 like this it will happen so first what we have the thread of 23 will be copied to 21 and then you can delete 23 what do you mean by deleting 23 here the link between 21 and 23 no 23 and this thread all three will be deleting like this it will happen okay deletion in single threaded binary tree node with a single child so what what is happening here delete 10 so what we are doing delete, this is a 10 actually so what we do uh, it is an internal node here so if we want to delete this one we should uh, make this 8 how we have done the deleting a node in the case of binary search tree that process we will carry out initially and then thread modification we will 
try to make it so what we will do here first so because it is having 10 is having only single child actually 8 will replace value uh, 10 that is no 10 value it will be replacing so here what we have what happened node 10 will be replacing with 8 and already the value of 10 is pointing to 18 actually right so we need not worry the rest of the thing can be deleted so if you observe this uh, 8 10 will be changed to 8 and you can delete the node 8 the link between these two nodes and right thread everything will be deleted and this is how the modification will be looking like so if you see like coding part uh, kind so what will happen first i will say ptr is a pointer of the node what we want to delete and uh, parent of 10 is 18 that is par is pointer to 18 10 left is 8 actually and so we will say child is equal to 8 as 10 is equal to 18 left because 10 is 18 left what do we do 18 left will make 8 that is 8 will be made as 18 left so we will be having in this fashion then we are changing only the nodes here then we have to change the threads also right so what do what we are doing here s is equal to 18 and p is equal to 8 that is for 10 successor is 18 and predecessor is 8 so according to the in order traversal 8 comes before 10 and 18 comes after 10 right so s is successor and p is predecessor so s is 18 a p is 8 and as 10 left is not equal to null because we are having 8 what we do 8 right will make as 18 so 8 right that is right thread of 8 will make as 18 like this we can do actually so this is how the node with a single child can be deleted in the single threaded binary tree see the deletion in single threaded binary tree where node with single child so here we are going to delete 29 we will check how we can delete 29 so 29 is having a single child and it is a right child actually now when we want to delete 29 we can just replace the node with its child when it is having a single child so we can replace 32 in place of 29 so when we are replacing 32 in place of 29 and because 32 successor is 34 which is already having the thread to 34 so we need not do any changes so we'll just delete the link from 34 to 29 and that link will be established between 34 and 32 that's all so here from this particular tree structure we are going to get tree like this so what will happen 29 will be replaced with 32 that's all so if you see like uh, according to the programming ptr the pointer of the node which we want to delete is 29 the parent of 29 is 34 now 29 right is 32 so we'll say like child node is 32 so because 29 is equal to 34 left that is 29 is the left child of 34 what shall we do now 34 left will become 32 like this s is becoming 34 and predecessor is becoming 32 so what will happen here 29 left because 29 left is null we need not take any action actually so here what will happen 34 left will become 32 and the right thread of 32 will be pointing to 34 because 34 is the successor of 32 next how to delete a node with two child nodes so here we are taking an example of 18 so when we want to delete 18 there are two chances that is either we can replace the 18 with the maximum value from the le left subtree or minimum value from the right subtree so here in this example we are showing that how to replace 18 with minimum value from the right subtree okay so when we want to delete 18 uh, the minimum value of its right subtree is 19 so 19 should be replacing the 18 
that is according to normal binary search tree deletion procedure now after replacing 18 with 19 we have to allow the threads so how the threads are going to be when we have 19 here we the successor of 19 is 21 and successor of 21 is 23 so there is no need of any threads to be added actually so here if you see from this particular tree structure we are going to get like this just we are replacing 18 with 19 and the link between 19 and 21 we are deleting node 19 we are deleting and thread also we are deleting so this is how the deletion process of the node with two children will be taking place thank you